Hello to another episode of Optic Straight Debates. Theodore Hello. and I will debate about a another specific topic today. Uh, today we've chosen a topic that concerns the field of mounts and it's actually a very very common topic. Um, when customers buy, buy mounts from us they often come to us with questions such as um, I see that you have aluminium and steel mounts on your webpage. Which one do you prefer? Which one should I buy? So today we're going to cover uh, this specific topic. Um, let's start by the question, which ones are... This is the topic which we will... If we get one euro for each time we receive a question, <laughs> yes. should I go with a steel or aluminium? I think we will uh, be... do our business a little bit differently. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, so this is a common topic, definitely. Um, um, yeah, so in which category do you found most commonly mounts made of aluminum and mounts made from steel? I would say in the past it was almost everything was made out of steel. So in the past also the majority of the market of the mounts was uh, associated with hunting rifles, so with hunting. And even today I would say that steel mounts made of, out of steel are more common in the hunt, hunting segment of, of mounts, while aluminum it basically dominates the sector of uh, tactical mounts, like monoblock mounts. Normally, if you can imagine such a monoblock, if it would be made out of steel, it would be extremely heavy, too heavy. So this is aluminum. <clears throat> and lately, also some uh, specific mounts uh, made by Mach and Ino mount for hunting rifles, like for Blazer, those two, or Zauer 404, or all these modern mounts, uh, modern rifles which have their own specific and unique solutions for mounting. Majority of mounts for such rifles are, are made out of aluminum. While for traditional hunting uh, rifles, drop barrel rifles, uh, you know, combination rifles and so on, still the steel is the, is the more common material. Uh, so I would say this is, at the moment, which sector of mounts is made out of aluminum. Cantilever mounts are also always made out of aluminum while hunting segment, cantilever, uh, uh, drop barrel, uh, rifles, mounts and so on, they're made out of steel. So yeah, when customers come to us with questions about this topic, they usually uh, want us to tell them about the advantages and disadvantages of each material. Mm -hmm. Well, with aluminum, this is quite a hard question to answer because there are so many different alloys, mm. aluminum alloys, which are used in mounts. Uh, and if we look at the really cheap or affordable mounts uh, found on eBay or anywhere where we talk about 10 euros or 15 euros per mount, the aluminum used for those mounts is usually not of the best quality, yes. to be mild. Cool. And so sometimes people still doubt, will the aluminum mount work well? Well, the, the idea is if you buy an aluminum mount made by a renowned European producer or American producer, you're on the safe side because they are using high quality aluminum alloys and they can be even stronger than steel. If you look at the Steel One or Eratac or Spur, uh, they, they use aluminum which is on such a high quality level that it, it surpasses all the, all the features of steel. However, with cheaper mounts, aluminum can be a little bit problematic because, because it's not just not hard enough. But uh, in our shop we usually sell only high quality mounts and we sell mostly uh, middle class and upper class of, of mounts. So I would say that in, in the whole array of our products it is really hard to find the one which is made out of uh, low quality aluminum. All of, all of those which we sell are more or less expensive, high quality and the uh, aluminum used, aluminum alloy used for them is, is high quality. So it's a mistaken belief that mounts made from steel are stronger just because they weigh no. more. So this is a mistaken belief, yeah. so to say. So <clears throat> you asked me what are the, the main differences. The main differences are the weight. Yeah, the aluminum, so. aluminum mounts are usually a lot less heavier. Uh, usually, like we see here, all the rings um, which are made out of steel are really narrow. So this is one centimeter, one centimeter and a half, 50 millimeters, again one centimeter, one centimeter. So the clamping surface is not that big. Uh, on one side this is a disadvantage because let's say with a 
with aluminum mounts you have at least two centimeters wide rings so you get a bigger much bigger surface clamping surface between the mount and the, the scope tube uh, however the steel mounts are much more prettier because of this reason they are more elegant because yes. they are smaller and so on and we know that with steel uh, you can still get a higher clamping force even though you should never exceed 2.2 2.3 uh, newton meters of torque on any mount uh, either aluminum or steel but still even though the the mounts uh, the made out of steel have narrower rings with only one centimeter wide uh, they still clamp well equally well as aluminum however the aluminum mounts they produce less tension on the scope which is better mm -hmm. on the other side they are not so elegant uh, when we talk about the looks and the elegance we can see that steel mounts can, are deeply blued so they're really really nice uh, like satin finish they're they're pretty or they're beautiful while with aluminum this is not possible aluminum, aluminum is just uh, analyzed and yeah this looks a little bit glossy so yeah it's and this nice, one is more like nice made. touch so so usually the steel mounts are prettier in this is this respect they're smaller Mm -hmm. They have nicer finish, however they clamp harder and they produce more tension on the scope since the, the contact surface between the steel mounts and the, and the scopes is smaller. And we shouldn't forget that all the scopes are made out of aluminum. So you put steel mount on an aluminum scope. You don't gain anything with, with the mount being steel, made out of steel because a lot of customers think, okay, I wish to have a mounts made out of steel because they are more reliable. This is not the truth. The truth is that the mount which is better made, where the tolerances are smaller, slimmer, this mount will be more reliable and will be better, even though if it's made out of aluminum or if it's made out of steel. Now you said that most scope, so scopes are made of aluminum. Yeah. What about the receiver? Should you also pay attention to whether you have a steel receiver or a receiver made of aluminum? Is that also... Sometimes, yeah. Affected? Well, with this mounts which go directly on, uh, on, let's say, Picatinny rails or something like that, uh, it sh you should always choose like this. If you have a receiver on a rifle made out of aluminum, use the aluminum mount. If you have a receiver made out of steel, use the steel. Uh, so the metals act, act the same in, in hot temperatures? Because of the temperature yeah. differences, yeah, because the, they contract uh, differently. Mm -hmm. This is why you need uh, the, the same material of the mount than it is in the material of the receiver. However, with these mounts, which are made out of aluminum, in most cases they go on the Picatinny rail. And, and uh, on the yes. Picatinny rail you always have some, some space uh, to, to compensate for these differences in contraction. So when you have a steel Picatinny rail, you should still go with the aluminum monoblock or an aluminum mounts and nothing will be wrong. I see, so I see. it's not such a, it's, it's a really interesting topic but very, very complicated. It's not a clear cut. I would say it's much clearer with, uh, with rails which go directly on the receivers. There, if you will expose your rifles to different temperatures, it's good to have the same material of the rail than the... We're, we're talking dimension. about the extreme temperatures here, yeah. right? So the extremes. Yeah, normally yeah. if you go from plus 30 to minus 50 yeah, degrees yeah. Cel Celsius, then you need to think about these things. But apart from that, I wouldn't say it's so important. Um, about the differences, uh, the steel mounts, they can corrode if you, don't, uh, if you don't do any maintenance and if you don't use oil on them. While with aluminum, this isn't possible. Even with, with some aluminum mounts, uh, you even get the, the screws made of titanium and then you can expose them to water for how long you wish and there will be no corrosion. While with steel you will always get corrosion. Now that you mentioned, mentioned titanium, are there any mounts made from titanium uh, as well? Some, some producers, uh, especially in the East, in Russia, they do a lot of mounts out of titanium because titanium is widely available. Uh, and also some Italian producers, they also produce, uh, I think they are called Dimpal or something like that. I know the Dimpal, they, produces, uh, they produce mounts out of titanium and Vons in Russia, they produce mounts out of titanium. Uh -huh. But most European producers... So the majority is... For majority is either steel or aluminum. And we say steel for hunting, aluminum for, for tactical or some modern hunting solutions like this MIK or this Inamount. Um, I, I think, think that, that I think that we mostly covered the 
I'm now differences. I'm thinking if I forgot of any of any disadvantages. Well, I think the corrosion with steel is the only disadvantage. With aluminum, the size is usually the disadvantage because uh, they are bigger in most cases and not so the more element. quality ones right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But, but even even yeah. like rings like this they are bigger than than comparable rings yes, uh, made are. out of steel what is also true the the complicated mounts like um, we have here the swing mounts or pivot mounts they're always made out of steel because uh, it's impossible to achieve the same repeatability on on oh. picatinny uh, on pivot system uh, with the use of aluminum and the same goes with the German claw mounts the older versions of mounts They were also always made out of steel because the tolerances there are, are really really tight So it also depends on the type of the mount. Yeah, if it's if it goes on a Picatinny It's usually going to be made out of aluminum if it's pivot traditional well yeah. now very traditional uh, uh, hunting mount or or like this uh, one piece mounts for drop barrel rifles like this Contessa this, these are always made out of steel, or in majority of cases. Uh, while tactical, cantilever, monoblock and so on, it's always made out of aluminum. So it is a more modern look, while well, this is the yeah. more traditional one, right? Yeah, and I would say the bottom point is, it's not that important which material is used, uh, either steel or aluminum, yeah, the biggest uh, importance is the quality. The quality of the producer, the quality of the material used because you can also use steel which is of low quality and will corrode immediately and so on mm -hmm. so it all goes down back to the quality it's not like easy to say steel is better aluminum is better you have to look at the quality this is the most important to buy a mount which is a high quality mount i think that to everyone who is watching this video because they're deciding on whether to choose between an aluminum or uh, steel mount that we help uh, help them resolve the issue and that they can now decide but if you still have any questions you can leave a comment down below or send us an email and uh, if you did found the video useful hit like and also subscribe to our youtube channel and we would like to thank you for watching and see you next time see you next time bye